If you've got a podcast, then marketing that podcast is absolutely vital to the ongoing growth of your show. One of the best ways to market your podcast is with micro content, specifically audiograms. Well, what in the world's an audiogram? I'm glad you asked because in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what an audiogram is. I'm going to show you some examples of what an audiogram looks and sounds like. Then I'm going to also give you some tools that we use here at the Podcast Launch Lab to create micro content for our clients uh, in addition to the podcast episodes we produce for them. So let's dig in. I'm Sebastian Rusk and I help people start a podcast. Now you've more than likely seen an audiogram before on social media, whether it's Instagram or Facebook or maybe your Instagram stories. It's simply an image with audio put behind it and saved as a movie file. So you see sometimes some sound squiggly lines on it and it has audio on the still image. That is an audiogram. Now there are several different ways to create an audiogram. When I first started creating these, I would literally use iMovie to create them. I would take a clip from the podcast episode, the audio, and then I would take an image and I would create a movie uh, in the iMovie software on my Mac. Yeah, it's a ton of work now that there's tons of tools available that literally create these for you almost automatically through AI, artificial intelligence, and the platforms that have been built uh, to provide micro content with AI are absolutely incredible these days. Now, here are a few of my favorite tools to utilize, and then I'm going to show you some examples of what an audiogram is. First things first, headliner.app. I've been using this for I don't know how long now, but it has all kinds of tools available to not only create your audiograms for you, but you can set it up so that you can tell them to create an audiogram. It's artificial intelligence, so you'd have to go and listen to it, make sure that the clips make sense. But you can literally say, hey, for this episode, I want a clip every single day, and they'll email you a clip that's auto-generated. Now, you can go in and create your own clip. You can create micro videos, memes, all kinds of stuff within the Headliner platform. Uh, Headliner.app, one of my favorite platforms to utilize as my headphone cord constantly decides to disrupt me during my videos, but we're going to keep it moving here. Headliner.app. There's a link below in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. There's some sort of offer with my link that you can go in there and check it out, but I highly recommend headliner.app. They do pay me if you sign up with that link, but they don't pay me to endorse them. I wholeheartedly believe in what they've built. The next is Descript.io, I believe. I don't use Descript, but I keep on hearing great things about it. Great way to edit your podcast, create content for your podcast. So even though I don't know, I'm not an active user and I don't know a ton about it, I do hear a lot about Descript. So be sure to check them out. I wanted to add those, them to the list because I keep on seeing Descript everywhere. Their marketing team is extremely aggressive. And then the last one is kapwing.com, kapwing.com, K-A-P-W-I-N-G.com. I'm sure you see it popping up on the screen here. There's another link below in the description for you to check that out. This is where we create all of our micro videos uh, for our podcast clients from their episodes so uh, that you can also create audiograms in there and me and images and all kinds of stuff. All these tools range from between 10 and 20 bucks a month. Very small investment, but allows you to streamline the process of being able to create content for your podcast, which is absolutely vital. Now, let me show you what an audiogram actually looks like. We don't have to go into extremes. This is something that men do a lot and we're all taught to do a lot is all or nothing, this or that, when really the world has you know, it, it's a scale, right? Masculine and feminine energy is on a spectrum. It's not all or nothing. And when we try to do all or nothing, we really miss out on the opposite, right? Because the universe requires balance. So if you're really holding on to one thing, you're not balanced because you're not getting the spectrum, right? So people who are like, I'm just going to be alone, fuck relationships, you know, like. I went, I went, I, I went through that phase too. And that right, but you also, when you're doing that, you isolate yourself a little bit, you cut correct. yourself off a little bit. Like you're not allowing, now you're, now you're much happier alone because you did the work, but you're also open, right? Your energy is open. I'm, I'm okay to find someone. You don't need to if you don't want to, and you're, but you, you desire. We are a publicly traded company, but you know, in the broader mining world, I guess you would consider us close to being a startup, right? We are pre-revenue, so to speak. We're looking for investors, and we're really trying to find the deposits that will become the opportunities for the future for you know either development or sale or something like that. Now, my background is engineering. I started my career uh, as a metallurgical engineer, so that's the type of engineer that converts the ore that you take out of the ground 
into the material that is ultimately sold into the market. So I did that for a number of years. And then I also picked up a finance background along the way. And it really gave me a broad experience in the mining industry of having technical and then operations and finance experience combined. And that's what made me really want to see what I could do on my own and with the team around me, of course, in really getting a mining company off the ground. So as you can see, audiograms are a great piece of content. They're really easy to create. You can also hire a designer or a freelancer to come in and help you out with that process. Or you can simply sign up for these tools, leverage them, and start creating content for your podcast, which you absolutely must, must do in order for your show to grow. Well, I hope you're leaving this video knowing at least one or two things that you did not know about micro content and specifically audiograms. You have questions about audiograms, podcasting in general, any video on the channel, please leave a comment below. I do respond to each and every one of you lovely individuals. Until next time, friends.